Uh, welcome to your senior year, uh, top returning running back. How, how do you feel in that role? And how do you feel like you've improved over what we saw a year ago? Yeah, you know, I feel good right now. I feel stronger and faster than I was last season. And, you know, being a senior and, you know, knowing that I'm probably going to be leaned on a little bit more, you know, I take that responsibility very seriously and feel like I had a good off season. you know, not a typical normal off season, but I feel like I, I handled it pretty well. And, you know, I'm just excited to get back at it with, with my guys. With the summer and with everything that's been going on, just how have you, how focused have you been? How driven have you been? What do you feel like you've improved on the most or been able to improve on at this stage of the game? Yeah, you know, I felt like I was pretty focused all off season. You know, it's kind of hard sometimes, you know, not knowing whether you're going to play, you're not going to play, you know. Mm -hmm. But, you know, just staying positive and staying focused was definitely important. And, you know, I think just stuff that I really wanted to improve on from last season was just being, you know, a little bit more elusive, a little bit more mobile in the open field, you know, able to win one-on-one -on -one matchups. Mm -hmm. And so I've kind of focused more on the speed and agility side of things. And, you know, I feel good right now. I'm, you know, looking forward to it. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Kels? Hey, Harry. Um, what would you say you're doing better right now out there in camp than you were doing when we last saw you play at the end of the 2019 season? Yeah, you know, I think some of the same things I, I just touched on. But, you know, I feel a little bit faster and a little more agile. Um, I kind of put that as my focus in the off season as well as, you know, just being a little bit more mobile and able to make guys miss more. And um, I think just learning the offense and having an extra couple semesters to dive deeper into the offense and the schemes, uh, I feel a lot more knowledgeable. I know I know the offense deeper and, you know, I just feel really comfortable this year. I feel a lot more confident than I did last year. So um, I think just all of those things tied in. I feel I feel pretty confident right now. We've gotten to see some of you and Tyler uh, over the past couple of years, but what can you tell us about some of the younger guys who are rotating into that position and what we can expect out of them? Yeah, yeah, just at first on Tyler, he's done a great job progressing. Um, you know, he's a good leader, a good veteran. And um, I think Joe and Jacardier have both progressed well. Um, I think they've matured a lot and have learned the offense more. And um, I think the freshmen are doing really well. Um, I think Deuce Vaughn has probably impressed me the most just – He's probably the smartest and, you know, one of the most mature freshmen I've been around. And, you know, my five years of college football, he's done a great job of learning the playbook. And, you know, he's really eager to learn. Um, he's always asking me questions. And, you know, me being a veteran, I love guys like that that, you know, are eager to learn and want to learn. And so I think Deuce has really impressed me, you know, just coming in as a freshman. All right, we'll go with the three that we have hands up for, starting with Adam Meyer. You're the senior and you're the starting running back and you want to have your biggest year you have yet and having Joe and Jacardia, two younger Tonto running backs that we should expect to see playing time from two. As you're the starting running back, just how much of an effect do you think it's going to have on you having two guys like Joe and Jacardia also getting playing time as well? Yeah, you know, um, I know it's going to be a rotation. I know that, you know, Coach Mess and, you know, Coach Klein, and we all like to use a bunch of running backs. And so, you know, I think just staying healthy for all of us is a big thing. Um, I think Tyler is really going to have a good season as well. He's done a great job. Um, he looks better physically than he did last year. He mentally, he's done a great job. And then, you know, I think Joe and Ducardier are both very talented. Um, I think they have really bright futures here. And, you know, I think we all complement each other. All four of us have different things that we bring to the table. And I think we all, all can play and know what we're doing. So I think I'm really excited to see, you know, what me and Tyler can do, but also those young guys. I'm, excited about their futures here too. John Kurtz. Yeah, Harry, I know you talked a lot about being faster and more agile. How, how difficult was that to, to do considering the circumstances of this off season and how, how were you able to get to the point where you are faster and more agile considering that? Yeah, you know, during quarantine and you know, a lot of the gyms and stuff were shut down and we weren't able to use our facilities. So you know, just making do with what you can, you know, hills, sand pits, whatever you can find just to get some extra work in. And it was difficult some days, but, you know, just, just staying positive and making the best and, you know, just trying to work as hard as you can all off season is, is something that I take a lot of pride on and, you know, just trying to be responsible as I can because, you know, being a senior, I know what the position I'm in and, you know, I, I got to be responsible and held accountable for, for everything that I'm going to be taking part of. You guys do have a lot of young running backs 
coach of you really taking it upon yourself to take some of those guys under your wing. Yeah, you know, of course, uh, I think, you know, just in my five years of football, I've learned a lot and been a lot of different places. And I think that's really important to me is helping those young guys out, um, you know, even the red shirt freshmen, the true freshmen, just trying to give them, you know, as much advice as I can, you know, helping them stay positive. You know, they've never experienced stuff like this just as well as we have, but it's tougher on younger guys. I feel like they don't really know what to expect. So, you know, just keeping them positive and helping them learn the playbook and, you know, just helping them learn the culture, culture here that Coach Kleiman is, is making. And uh, I, it's definitely really important for me. And, you know, Tyler's done a great job helping me as well. And Coach Anderson just, just harping to those young guys, you know, how important stuff is, practices, you know, the extra work you put in. And I think it's, it's really important to me to help those guys out. Appreciate it. Thanks. Derek Young. Sorry. Hey, hey, Harry. Uh, as a senior and a veteran on the team, how much energy or do you have to spend as much energy devoting it to the younger players to kind of hold them accountable of how they're behaving away from the facility just because of COVID right now? Yeah, you know, definitely a unique situation. Um, I think all of us as seniors have, have taken it upon us to know we got to we got to help these young guys out, you know. We can't, we can't um, have young guys, you know, going out to public gatherings, you know, large gatherings, you know, just, just staying on them about that stuff and, you know, helping them to be smart and, you know, know, know which positions not to be in, you know. We can't really sacrifice anything like that right now. And I think that we've done a great job, you know, no positive tests. That's, that's amazing. So just hoping we can stay like that and, you know, keep everybody on the same page and keep everybody smart and, you know, just doing everything we can to protect the team and stuff like that. Last one right here, Mitchell. Hey, man. So um, recently, the Riley County Health Department allowed about 25% of fans to come up to uh, football games. Um, are you guys concerned about having fans in the games? Or are you guys generally pretty excited for the, the prospect of having fans? Yeah, me personally, you know, I'm excited. You know, it's better than nothing. You know, some some stadiums and some colleges aren't having any fans. And you know, super thankful that we get to have, you know, at least some capacity. But, you know, I think as as I've gotten older and I think the veterans on this team, you know, whether we have fans or not, we got to go out there and execute and do as best we can. So, you know, having fans there is great. You know, I love having fans there and in any capacity. So, you know, I'm super excited about that and excited to see, you know, how that works out. All right, Harry. Thank you. Thank you, guys.